On January 13, 1982, an Air Florida Boeing 737 plunged into the Potomac in Washington, D.C., killing 78 people. That plane took off during a snowstorm and 45 minutes had gone by since it was last de-iced, causing a buildup of snow and ice on that aircraft. Now, when snow, ice, or even frost accumulates on the wings or tail of an aircraft, that is very bad because basically it changes the shape and can disrupt the airflow across the surface. And that will lead to problems with the airplane getting an off lift. So what exactly is used in the de-icing process? It's a chemical called glycol that is mixed with water and then heated. It is then sprayed under pressure to remove the ice and snow that starts to accumulate on the plane's surface. Now, if it's snowing heavily, they have to add even more glycol to it, which has a freezing point well below 32 degrees. It must also be sticky enough to remain on the plane as it speeds down the runway during takeoff. Now, even while it's in the air, the aircraft is still capable of preventing further ice buildup, and the pilot will monitor either by looking out the window or just using those sensors around the plane. Now, a typical departure delay when it comes to de-icing can take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, but certainly a delay well worth it when it comes to saving lives.